Let's talk about the Starfield hype train. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but if there's no news coming out about Bethesda and their games, I tend not to make videos about it. There's, there's none of this release date, maybe, possibly, question mark, question mark, in other words, there is no release date. They're just making a video to fill a void, you know. There's a desert of information coming from Bethesda, as in nothing, and they think, well, how do we fill this? We'll rehash the same stuff. We will hype up something everybody already knows, waste 10 minutes of their life on a video. I tend not to do that. I tend to want to think, well, if Bethesda aren't producing anything, then maybe there's something about Mountain Blade or something about No Man's Sky that's interesting instead and flip between the two. That's what the whole point of my channel has been trying to be about from day one. But it's taken me a, a year of experimenting and stuff. And it has been a year now since I really started looking into this so to find out how I make each individual topic work on a channel. And like I said, you link the video to the user. That's in a previous video. And thank you to you guys, my Mountain Blade videos are now starting to be linked to those who like them. It's early days and it's working, but I'm not getting the thousands of hits I would for Starfield. If I wanted to, I'd just put Starfield at the beginning of every video I made, 2,000 hits instantly, you know? Says that it'd be a massive improvement to my channel, but that would be using that, that would be a hype train job. I'd be lying. Now, if we look at liars in particular, like say Trump and Boris Johnson, Mr. Elections are rigged when he's the president during those elections. <laughs> yes, visited, these elections are rigged. The state's the problem. Yeah, we can't trust them. Who's in charge of the states? Well, I am. But it's not me that's guilty, it's the guy that has no power over there. You know, they lie, they cheat, they mislead. And people are like that. There are people like that out there that are willing to lie to you just because they want to get something from you. A lot of these hyped up videos, they're really a lie. <coughs> they're saying to you, look, release date for Starfield, knowing you're going to click on it. And then you get the video and there's nothing in it. It's a lie. You know, these people that do this kind of thing are manipulating you. There's also that kind of sense where where they're going to build up the game into something it's not or run it down when it's when it's going to be better. So people, I'm not buying that game. It said in this video that it was going to be crap at space flight, so I'm not buying it. When they don't know until the game comes out. Or they'll say, yeah, it's going to have robot monsters like Godzilla attacking the towns and you've got to kill it with a machine gun. And there's nothing like that in the game. You know, you get it hyped up to the point where you believe it or run down into the point you believe it when actually Bethesda like to keep these things fairly close to their chest. Like take me, for example, right? I, I'm not hyped up about Starfield. I know it looks like I am, but I aren't. Nothing that I've seen about Starfield so far has truly been exciting. But I know that's the way Bethesda work. They give you snippets of information. As you get close to uh, release time, they start showing you something that's a little bit more more interesting. But they like you to experience the reality of a game after it's been released. So they will never tell you anything about the actual game until after release. And then they'll sit back and see what fans make of it whilst bug fixing. That's their style. So we won't know anything about Starfield, really know anything about Starfield, until it actually hits the shelf. That's when we'll find out exactly what it's about. Then our preconceptions will be swept aside. At least for those people that still buy it. There's people that don't buy it because of the videos, the hype videos that told them stuff they didn't like. Or those people that did buy expecting a lot more than they got. They're going to be deeply disappointed. They're going to think, well, I was expecting this. All these videos that told me the release dates and stuff and were making crap up and lying to me, you know, says, told me the game was going to be this, this and this. And it's not. So it's obviously crap. It's, it's a cut down version of what it should be. So I'm just going to give it a one star, even though it's a wonderful work of art when you see it. I mean, this is the problem. People's preconceptions are created by this hype train and the hype train is ultimately harmful to the game itself and its sales. Eventually, after two years... You know, the initial hype and the initial release doesn't matter. It's swept aside by the reality of the game because everybody learns what the game is. But their initial sales are important. It determines what kind of support they get after the facts. So if they lie then and they harm their early sales, that game, like in the case of Freelancer, might be abandoned before they even know how successful that game is going to be. Now, Freelancer was massive, right? So the Freelancer was one game, even I modded it. 
and said, but the developer abandoned it almost immediately after release. They did one patch and that was it. And there's always that danger. So anyhow, I think we need to keep our feet on the ground with these hype things. I tend to unfollow and tell YouTube, you know, not to show me videos from channels that are constantly rehashing the same Todd Howard interview and the same showcase videos, claiming something new popped up. One guy said new game footage on his channel and it wasn't new. It's from last year, six, seven months ago. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, okay, maybe he's only just noticed. That's fair enough. But I mean, at the end of the day, you shouldn't put new video down, footage down when you know the video is seven months old. You know, it's misleading. Anyhow, what I suggest is keep your, keep your um, feet on the ground when it comes to Starfield. I've got no expectations. I'm not really hyped up by what I've seen so far. So I'm trying to kind of wait and see. So when I do see the game, I'll either think brilliant or I'll think, yeah, you know, and it'll be my initial impression of the game. And when you see me make a video about it, it'll be my honest first opinion without any preconceptions. And as for the channel, by having like, you know, other games supported, if there's nothing in the department of Bethesda, because Bethesda kind of like, they have a desert-like landscape when it comes to news sometimes. You go months ago by without hearing anything. Then suddenly a forest of information will appear, then another desert. So in, in then moments when it's just desert, there's like nothing coming out from the Bethesda's uh, studio or no information, you could have something else to focus on, something that you can talk about that isn't decades old. And No Man's Sky and, says, uh, and uh, Banner Lords, these fill that gap. This is why it's been important for these things to you know, be picked up on the channel. If you actually look at the um, Banner Lords video, it took a bit, it's a bit slow, but it's up to about 67 views, which isn't a lot, but it means it's actually being shown to people. So it's an important step. And it's been shown to people because some of you clicked like. That means in these quiet times and Bethesda aren't doing anything, Banner Lord, No Man's Sky, whatever else, will be picked up. As long as I can make them videos, links to fans that like it, there'll always be something on the channel worth watching. And there's no need for me to make hype videos. Hype videos only work for a short time anyway. And people think, well, yeah, you're always saying this. Your channel isn't that interesting. I mean, I've wasted, I've wasted weeks looking at videos of yours where nothing's happened. Watch it all the way to the end only to find out there was a sadly disappointing ending to this particular video. So, so I avoid that. I avoid that by making the videos for other games whilst we wait for something new. So there's actually some of substance worth watching when you actually do watch one of my videos. At least that's the plan. I mean, this is just me talking about the hype to it. So this, in a way, I suppose it's a bit clickbaity, but it's kind of anti-clickbaity because it's making the point that there's nothing to talk about with Starfield right now. Not until Bethesda says something else, then we can have a look at that. Anyway, hopefully that'll change. In the meantime, I've been thinking... You know, Kavach Aftermath and Kavach Rising. I could make a video about how to switch between the two of those, you know, in, in game. So you could try one and then do what you need to do and then try the other one without resetting your game. Because there is a trick to it. There's a command line you've got to enter to reset the mod properly. So, I mean, I could do that. So I could even show you in 4K what them games look like today. Because the videos I originally made of those two uh, mods were from, what, 2006 for or 2008 for Kavach, Kavach Aftermath, and I think it's 2013 for Kavach Rising. So they're 10 years old, you know. Maybe a new video for both of those will hit the mark right now. But don't be surprised if Starfield isn't as big a topic on here as you might expect. It's simply because there's no information coming out that's worth me talking about that hasn't already been talked about. See you in the next one.